Next, I'm going to make finish machining of these cylindrical surfaces of my uh, part. So, in order to do this, I will create new operation, which is 2D contouring. Here it is in finishing section. And I will use cylindrical mill and will make the machining with the flank of the tool. So, in order to do this, first of all, I will create a new tool. I didn't create this new tool. Uh, this tool uh, in the tool library uh, yet so I will create it right now so I double click on the tool uh, click this little button show library tools and I will choose 10 millimeter cylindrical mill for this select tool for the operation here it is now I will select uh, the holder from here in tool section in operation parameters for example let's, let's take this holder Okay, so as you can see, the tool has automatically uh, was automatically set up into the uh, into the Excel uh, position of the revolver. So, but we can also change this. So, if this didn't happen by default while you're doing this project, uh, don't be scared. It's easy to change. Uh, we can choose. Uh, we need to choose the operation. Here is the tool section and here is the tool connector. So, for example, if by default, for some reason, Sprutcam can install this new tool into the same connector which was used here in the previous operation. In that case, you will see red uh, numbers of the tool here and the stress sign here, which means that we have a conflict. We have two different tools in one position in the same project. So, in order to, in order to uh, eliminate this error, you can change the position of the tool here in the drop down list so you can see which ones are, uh, are free and which ones are already uh, not available. So I will choose this connector, this fits my needs perfectly. So and we are ready to configure the parameters of the operation. Okay, first of all, I will confirm the changes which I made in the tool, and one more important thing is tool length. So we have uh, the depth of uh, of our part approximately 60 millimeters so I will set 65 millimeters okay and confirm apply changes okay for the tool can reach in order the tool can reach this uh, this surface without collisions with the holder okay so I go to job assignment and first of all I will select this edge deselect these little edges that I don't need. Okay, this is my contour I'm going to machine. So I will delete here what I have and select curve. That's it. Next, I will set bottom level and top level will be this edge, top level. Next, I will adjust approach and retract using interactive interface elements very easy like this i think this will be fine and run okay we are almost ready but we need to do a little adjustment because here we have a stress sign which means we have an error and what do we have here is access travel over the limits it is because we have mill turn machine and we are not using polar interpolation now so let's check in simulation what's happening at the moment reset simulate up to current operation press play and we can see that the part is not turning and at some moment yes this axis is traveling out of its limits okay it's no problem we can solve this situation very easy uh, I go back to machining tab and here in 2D contouring operation I press transformations and here we have rotary transformations which are currently off I just click polar interpolation okay reset run recalculate the toolpath let's look at the simulation once again okay approach and we already can see that the part is turning that's it so everything is working fine now. Okay. 
Very good. So our operation is ready.